um, that Marsha P. Johnson was one of the greatest transgender warriors that with a courage and determination that was unmatchable. I come from, uh, well, you know, you could say old school, but I guess I would prefer a t-shirt that said, part old school, part new school. And uh, I, I, I have to say that back in the day where I come from, which was the 220 Club, Gigi Nickavaca, right. Gilded Grape, <laughs> and in fact, Sally was my mama, okay? And it was, we had hardship now, we had struggles. Hell's Angels invading our club. Of course, Caravan went over there the next night, told them, <laughs> Don't even try it again. We never saw them again. What nearly I would like to say, Randy, many of us back in 1993 tried to build a memorial for Marsha. It's still, there is a memorial here that's always here. It's in our hearts. It's in our minds. But we should still be relentless to build a memorial to Marsha B. Johnson. If anyone deserves a memorial, I, just to say something about Marsha, and, and I, I know that, you know, the first time I met Marsha, I was working in the 220. And now remember, this is the language of the day. Okay, but let me just say this, and a lot of you old timers know this. She could stand on the corner of Bedford and Christopher or Washington or 10th and say, spare change for a starving queen. I am not going to amend her words. And you know what Marsha did with most of that money? If anyone here knows, Gave they know away. that she shared that money and kept very little for herself. That's why I say there is nothing in this world that was ever more beautiful than Marsha P. Johnson. And uh, I did want to say uh, to some of our veteran uh, trans comrades, sisters, that if this cream puff, marshmallow punk wants to talk about trans people disrupting military service, when this bitch ain't been in the military for two and a half seconds, what the hell is it? What the hell does this rapist in chief know about military service? Right, Tanya? So, I would like to at least help resurrect the idea that we should really make a movement to build a memorial to Marsha P. Johnson. I wish we had them for all of them. Like uh, it was mentioned before, uh, how transgender warriors were some of the bravest in this country, such as in the Native, uh, Native Americans, the greatest, most heralded warriors were trans, mm. or as were referred to in that nation, two-spirited, mm. like we were. We were was a great warrior. Oh, by the way, translated into English. We were means finds them and kills them. What? Talking about the cavalry. Okay? So, I just wanted to say this one last thing. I, I see Marsha every night. Well, 
uh, every night and they say they want us to get back oh it ain't happening we're gonna fight back and we'll fight till we get justice from Marsha and the 80 percent black and brown trans women who have been murdered we cannot let this racism divide us and these white people better wake up because until our sisters are of color are free they will never be free ever and so what we need to do is unite and march against this racist overwhelming oppression that our sisters of color face every day, taking their lives in their hands every step that they take. We need to honor all of them who have been mentioned previously. And I just want to thank you all for allowing me this moment to express what's in my heart. Thank you very much.